Are you ready to edit and record your online course, but you have no clue where to start? Today, I'm showing you my exact strategy of filming, editing, uploading, and organizing my online courses using my favorite AI tools. This is the fastest, easiest, and most professional process that I have ever found, and I'm dishing it all with you today. Now, how would I know? I'm Danny, and I've created multiple courses that have generated over six figures, and I've learned through trial and error the quickest and easiest way to creating beautiful online courses. And so if you're ready to learn, my master strategy, then let's dive in. The first question that you need to answer when it comes to creating your online course is what type of course are you creating? There are three main types. The first type of course is an audio course with some sort of visual like slides. Here's an example of what this can look like where I've got slides going and then I'm just doing a voice over over it. This option is all right, but not showing yourself as a teacher could hurt student engagement. The next type of course is just showing your face and teaching just directly to the camera. Now, this is very difficult for visual learners that need more examples of what you're talking about for it to really sink in, so I wouldn't recommend doing this. The best of both worlds is the third option, which we call picture in picture. This is where you would be showing a visual like slides and also your face, usually like in the corner. You may notice I do this a lot on my YouTube channel, why? Because personally, I love learning where I have visuals and I also can see the instructor talking. And this is backed by science and data. Research shows that students prefer picture-in-picture -picture lessons with the instructor visible. Picture-in-picture -picture teaching increases satisfaction, motivation, and even engagement. So 10 out of 10 would recommend doing this for your online course. Now, if you think, Danny, I'm kind of shy and awkward in front of a camera, don't worry. You've got to stop thinking like you're talking to a group of people and instead remember that you're just talking to one person. So if you can hold a one-on-one -on -one conversation, you can be great on video as well. You just got to stop thinking like you're talking to a camera and start thinking like you're talking to a good friend. Also, I apologize. I kind of lost my voice, but I felt motivated because I'm really excited about this topic and I love all the tools we're talking about today. So anyway, bear with me. All right. <clears throat> now that hopefully I've convinced you to create a picture in picture course to maximize your student engagement and retention rates, we need to talk about what equipment you're going to need. Now, first off, Let's start with talking about cameras. Now, I recommend to keep things as budget as possible. You don't need a super fancy camera, especially when it comes to picture in picture, because you're just going to usually be on the corner of your screen while you're teaching your course. So all you need is a camera that shoots in at least 1080 pixels. Now, if you have a newer computer, that may even be the internal camera of your computer. Like for me, I have a Mac computer and it has an internal camera. So on all my courses, I just use that because it's super easy for me to be able to teach and look at the camera at the same time because it's a part of my computer. If your internal web camera does not shoot in at least 1080p, then grab a cheap webcam off of Amazon that has good reviews. You honestly can't go wrong. I have used Logitech web cameras in the past and I've been really happy with them, but there's loads of options. Next, I highly, highly recommend that you get a microphone. You'll see this microphone I'm using right now is the Shure microphone. I will link to it in the description. This one I have is a little bit more on the expensive end, but there are plenty of great microphones that are even in the $30 to $50 range. Like when I looked up was the HyperX Solocast. It has great reviews, solid audio. It's $40. Something like that would be great, but you do really want to make sure that you have high quality audio for your students. We're going to be using a video editing software that also can enhance your audio. So if you don't have the budget right now to get a microphone, it's not life or death, but I really do recommend a microphone because I do think it adds a layer of professionalism to your videos. The next thing that you're going to need is some sort of a nice and neutral background. Now, you may be like, Danny, this is not that neutral of a background, but I would say that it's like, it's still pretty nice looking. I've got a lot of plants. And so I just recommend something that's not too distracting. Ideally, I would be more behind a wall. My office is actually in our living room because we don't have that big of a house. My husband has the office because he's on calls more than me. And so you can always find a space, I believe, in your home. Even it's just a blank wall is great. Maybe add a few plants. This plant I got from Costco, the snake plant, if they still sell it. Love this. But anyway, try and have a neutral background that's not too distracting. But again, for picture and picture videos, you will only really see this area here. So if there's some craziness kind of far off, it shouldn't matter too much. But you need some sort of a nice and neutral background. The next thing you're going to need is good lighting. Now, the best lighting you can get is 
the sun. Yes. Yeah, so if you can film your videos in front of a window, that's always going to make you look, I think, just the best and most alive. Right now, I'm filming in front of two massive windows, and that is free 99, which we love. But if you are filming in a dim space, I highly recommend buying a few ring lights at least to be able to brighten up your face so that your video is very clear. Next, you're going to need a presentation tool for what you're going to be teaching on. This could be something like Canva, but I highly, highly recommend that you invest in an AI tool called Gamma.app. I'm not even an affiliate with Gamma. I just have saved so many hours of my life from making slides in Canva with Gamma that like I'm a huge fan and recommend them for all of my course clients. While Canva is free, Gamma is not. There are free and pro plans to Canva, and there's also a free plan with Gamma and you can see here you get 400 credits at sign up but you're really going to quickly need to move into their plus which is ten dollars a month so again if you're bad at making slides it's so worth the investment i am just on this plus plan i haven't even moved up to the pro yet it's been all that i need i'm going to show you just quickly how gamma works so that you can create beautiful slides for your course videos once you create an account with gamma you'll just hit create new with ai and then i recommend to paste in text so i always click this rather than generate so i I do paste in text and then what I highly recommend that you do is create a course workbook as a Google document. So here's an example one where I've got module one of this course that I made puppy prep 101. This is just an example course and I've got all of the info that I want to teach for module one. Okay so I write that all out for my students in this workbook that then I can then share with them and I'll hit anyone with the link. I copy the link and then what I do is I just take the back end of this link and instead of the slash edit, I change it to slash copy. And then when I click into that, it allows my students to make a copy of the workbook. But anyway, once I'm done with my module workbook, I would just grab all of that and I paste it into Gamma. Okay, so I've got all of this information in here and then I can click, how do I want this content? generate from notes or an outline, summarize long text or document, preserve this exact text. So for me, I'm going to summarize and then continue to prompt editor. Now from here, I would click if I want to generate, condense, or preserve the text. I can pick the amount of text I want on slide. So minimal, concise, detailed. I'm going to think I'm going to go with concise. Then from here, I'll pick the theme that I want. So I already made my own theme in Gamma with my branding, but you can see here if I click view more, they have loads of different options that you can choose from that are just it's beautiful. Just wait till you see this. It's insane. Okay. But anyway, I'm going to use my own custom theme here that I made. And then I can pick if I want AI images or stock photos. So I'll do AI images. I can pick if I want it to be photos or illustrations. I'm going to do illustrations. And then from there, I can pick how many cards that I want it to be. I can also hit card by card if I want to be able to decide which content goes on a slide by hitting just dot, dot, dot. And then I can figure out the slide myself but for now I'm just gonna do freeform and let the AI of gamma do its own magic and I'll say I want this to be 20 slides okay that's the max I can do on my plan I will now hit generate and it's gonna create beautiful slides that I can teach off of based off of my own curriculum now even though I just put 20 slides I can make more slides with that using AI just initially it can only create that 10 or 20 for me depending on what plan I'm on but again I can always add more slides to this presentation I'm not maxed out at 20 slides total so it creates for me oh wow like this is so crazy right my slides would never be this beautiful i think back to workshops that i used to do with like 100 plus slides and they're so ugly and this is based off of all my own curriculum and now i can just teach off of it for my presentations I'm such a big fan. Okay, so then if I want, I can go in, I can edit anything. Let's say I want to add in a slide. I can always add card with AI, describe what I want this new page to be like, and you can tweak everything. I have a full Gamma tutorial that you can watch here. If you don't see it yet, the video is coming soon, so be sure to subscribe. But everything in here is customizable. So I could go in, I could change the format of these cards, and I can add in text, take text away. I can improve the writing, fix spelling and grammar, make things long add an image, make things more visual. The world is your oyster inside of Gamma. 10 out of 10 would recommend. All right, now that you've created the most beautiful slides you've ever made in your life, it's time to record your video training for your course. This is a section I feel that a lot of course creators dread, but 
we are going to use my favorite AI tool, Descript, and you will see that it's actually easier than ever to film yourself and edit your video trainings. Let's dive into Descript. Descript is not a free tool. It starts off though at just $16 a month if you buy it annually, and I'll be real with you, any solid video software is going to come at a cost, and I find Descript to be one of the best deals on the market. I have a link to Descript that you can use to be able to try it out. Let me show you how it works. So once you have your slides, what you will do is you will go into Descript and you will hit new project. From here, we will choose video project. So I will hit record and I'm going to choose record myself and the screen. From there, I can see it myself and I can pick what camera I want to use. So I'm just going to use my internal camera and I'm going to use my Shure mic, but I'm already using my Shure mic right now to record this video. So I'm going to just put my default Mac. Okay. From there, I will hit record. Now there are two ways I can show my screen. I can either hit entire screen and then I can crop out things I don't want in the screen, or I can pick the window with my slides. So let's say I pick this window, which is Polite Puppy Prep 101, and I hit record, it's going to record myself and my Polite Puppy screen. So what I'll do then is I'll go up on my slides and I'll hit present, and then I will teach my slides, making sure that I'm looking at the camera of my internal computer. Okay, so Puppy Prep 101, your blueprint to a well-mannered best friend starts here. Are you ready? Let's dive in. First, let's talk about creating three essential zones. Okay, that's my example. Once you're done recording, you're going to hit this red button. You can also pause the recording or even restart it. So I'm going to hit done. Once you're done recording, a transcript of your video is going to pop up and you'll see I've got my screen that I was sharing and also myself in the corner. Now, what I recommend doing right off the bat is just cropping everything before you make any changes. So I'll usually go in, I'll hit this crop button and I will just change it. So just my slides are showing, hit enter, and then I would just drag it to kind of fit more of the screen. And I can also change the background color by clicking background. I could change that to white or even to my brand green if I want. And then the next thing I'll do is I will make myself a little bit bigger and I can move myself to the corner. And then I can also choose if I'm a circle or a square. I think the circle looks nice. And then from there, I can go in and I can edit this video by the text. So if I realize I can go and delete things like I don't want. This is me making a mistake. I haven't started here. So I can delete text. I can also use their AI tools. And so what I like to do is also add studio sound to make the sound quality that much better. It really enhances the audio. So I love to turn that on. And then in the AI tools, I also like to remove filler words. So I'll go and find all filler words and you'll see it. So I say um twice. So I'll remove all of those. I can also remove retakes. This is great if I've made a mistake and I said something twice. For me, this was so short that I didn't have any retakes or at least it didn't find any. And then I can go in and I also really recommend doing this where I shorten word gaps. So I'll look for any word gaps that are more than a second and then I'd shorten them for me at least personally to 0.5. So that shortens all the word gaps. Now, let's say for example, I wanted to change how this looked. I would just do a slash and then what I can do is I can actually change the layout of this and I could even just like like show myself here if I wanted, or I can show a title chapter layout like this. Puppy prep 101, puppy prep 101, your blueprint. The AI automatically already adds the text in for me for that goes along with this training, which is so cool. Again, I can change the background color. I can change the font here, but there's so much you can do within Descript. This is just the basics, but you see editing is so easy. Another little pro hack for you is I usually hit this two times speed and it doesn't actually make the final video two times it just means that you can edit it double speed so i can go through so it just makes it so seamless and let's say like i want to like move myself around in different sections you always can by just creating new sections here like let's say from this next section and then that's been rhythms so that it will be i could create a section like this. So I do again two, two front dashes and then I could make myself even like bigger here. And so watch what it would do. And then that's when creating rhythms so that it will be realistic schedule or if I'm being online to some money. And then yeah. So making tweaks is so easy and you can always add elements in where you can circle things, you can put a line to things. Like here, I could circle something that I'm talking about. Like let's say I'm talking about safe home setup. And then that's when creating 
of daily rhythm. So I would just rhythms so that it will be realistic. Okay. Okay. Or worry about being on mic. So it's so easy to add in these little extra things. I could also add in captions to my whole video if I wanted that would. And these are the different options that will just add in for me. I can add in background music if I want, gifts. The world is your oyster. But I recommend to just keep it simple. Honestly, I would just leave this exactly as is once I've removed all of my filler words. And once I've made sure all the mistakes are gone, then I can just export it. And then I export it to my external hard drive or you could do a local export. I always make sure the quality is high and then I would export it hit save. Again, like I said, I just showed you the basics because that's all you need in the beginning. Don't do all the things. Keep it simple. Now that you understand how to create, film, and edit your trainings, I have a warning for you that you need to stay organized. As you build out your course, if you're not organized, it's going to get very overwhelming. And if you end up needing to switch course softwares like I did, I started out on Teachable and then painstakingly moved over to Kajabi because I outgrew Teachable. It took me months. It should have taken me days or just a week if I would have stayed organized. And I recommend doing that by using a Google Sheet. Here is an example, and this is actually from my magnetic course blueprint that I highly recommend that you join, by the way. But anyway, I have each module laid out and then the lessons within each module. And then I have the activities for that module, the slides that I made in Gamma, the module worksheet, and then the link to the video training that I made. And this just keeps things so seamlessly organized. In order to create something similar, you would just create a blank spreadsheet in Google Sheets. Once you're in Google Sheets, you can click this Gemini button to use their AI and then put in a prompt and I can add this prompt in the video description, but you'll see create a course outline using the exact columns and you just make it really clear what you want. So this would be the Polite Puppy Academy and then I could insert that and you can see this is what it made for me. Looks great and then I can just edit it and keep everything organized. Once you have your video video edited and the link ready, you'll just go ahead and upload this into your course software. Now, for me personally, I highly recommend Kajabi. I've been using it for several years now and I'm so happy. Like I said, I moved over from Teachable and I find course creation to be quite seamless. So for me personally, I would just go into my Kajabi Let's say I have an example course here and I could go into module one, add content, add a lesson in. And then from here, I can upload my video that I created in Descript. And something really neat as well is in Descript, what I like to do is I will also export subtitles and that allows me to have subtitles in my course as well that I can upload really easily. You'll see I just hit video actions, closed captioning, and then I can upload the transcript from my device and you will be able to see, boop, and then the subtitles are added in and my students can view them while they watch the video. I also love that in Kajabi, you can just find a frame of the video that you like and you can make that the thumbnail of this training by just a click of a button and it'll switch the thumbnail for you so seamlessly. I can publish it and then hit save. Now you know how to beautifully, quickly and easily create, film and edit your online course. You've got this. If you have any questions, let me know down below. We'd love to have you in the Magnetic Course Blueprint. Be sure to check out these tutorials next and I'll see you next video. Bye!